Breathe, and we're gonna also get. Oh, are we live? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. I'm gonna be well actually. Okay. Welcome to story time. Here we go. Oh, your stories are picking up. Let's go live People. on Facebook. Hi, everybody. Hello. The IT department was a little slow, struggling with some new technology today. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Welcome to Story Time Live. Okay. Oh, I've got my thing covered, Charlie. That way, that's why we weren't seeing anybody. We had my thing covered because we didn't want to be get any hackers. All right. Yes, now we can get hacked. Now we're ready to be hacked. Welcome to Storytime Live. Thank you for bearing with us because Charlie and I are the technology department. We got some upgraded software today that we decided we would rather re-downgrade ourselves. So we're yes. back to our, we prefer our old technology. It is Storytime Live with Charlie and Carla. We've made a switch. We've promoted her to the top number one spot. She's the main. Are you gonna call yourself Charlie now? Likely to happen. Yes. I'm going crazy in here in this stay shelter in place. I'm forgetting who I am. Today, we are back with jokes, live music, and Stories. Mostly stories. Mostly stories. Today was also your first day of real e-school. Last week was a practice week. Yeah. How was e-school? How's e-school going, everyone? It's pretty easy. It was easy. It's a little, I'm worried about that. It's a little bit easy right now for middle schoolers. So that's why we said once again, we're going to give Charlie a break from the guitar. We're going to sing a live song, one of our faves that goes with the theme, which means, Charlie, that we have to uh, take care of business. We've got to tell people what today's story theme is. You've got the theme paper. The theme. We have so much of to tell you. today is stories in space. Yes. Whoa. Stories in space. Let's zoom up so they can see all of our fun theme designs. Today we thought we were we we have a kind of a thing about uh, space and the world of getting into space that we're going to share with you today. But we have got two main stories to share with you today, uh, and one of them is about our favorite little Siamese cat, Skippy John Jones. Who, Skippy. Yeah, he, he is a clever little kitty cat, um, and he wants to blast in space. The other story we're going to talk about is going to be a bit of a show and tell today and a bit of a learning. And we're going to learn about not only what it takes to get into space and the people who help us get into space, but some of the other things you have to be good at, like math, if you want to be part of helping us get into space. So. We always start by reminding people that Charlie has this very good idea that she um, doesn't like us to be too forward in calling people friends when we don't know them very well. Mm -hmm. So we come up with a nickname every story time that goes in the theme of our stories. And the nickname this time that we thought of instead of calling you friends was to call everybody who's visiting story time Cadets. 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 Because we're going to go into space together today. And because we're going into space together, Charlie and I wore our space shoes. You cannot see it, but we have these cool... PG-3 NASA orange, black... I don't remember, but actually it was like the 50th anniversary. No, those were so Matching. <laughs> we're wearing matching shoes today. Yes. And these are our space shoes because, and because they are honoring a very important science program called yeah. NASA. And we're going to talk more about that NASA. in story time. But you know why we have three pairs of matching shoes? We don't just have the two that belong to me and Charlie. We have a third pair of shoes because one of our other space fans who's not here today is Charlie's grandma. Yes. So imagine that this is Charlie's grandma and the two of us with our matching space shoes. And shall we get into our theme today, Charlie, which is space. 
And since we're going to do space, we have to, we know we have to get our minds in the right frame of mind to be good cadets for our stories today. So we're gonna do space theme, yeah, space theme exercise warm-ups that work in very small spaces because as you see us in this computer we're in a little tight space and wherever you are cadets might also be a tight space so we're going to do a warm-up that is as if your hands were turning into the rocket ships getting ready on the launch pad so i want you to take your hands put them together make a rocket ship now this is kind of hard to do while your hands are still together how high can you lift and then you can separate your elbows as if you were blasting off and now blast all the way off and get your rocket launchers are going to let go and your rocket now let your launchers come all the way back down to earth while your head is the rocket and be tall and go into space okay wonderful i think we're warmed up and we are ready cadets to get into our first story time but as you know if you've been here before, we love a good joke. So we have some jokes about science and things you need to know if you're gonna get into space. So I've got a joke. Hey, Charlie, what do you get treated for if you get bitten by a computer? Cadets. Let's see if anybody's got a good guess out there. I have no idea. What do you get treated for if you get bitten by a computer? By a computer. I'm not a computer. It's like a shirt. I got it. You ready? And then we can jump into you telling us our first story. Oh, yeah. You get a megabyte. Ah! That's great. That's what you get. If you we get, gotta guess. Did somebody guess? Somebody out there also is ready for you to finally call them your friend, which is very cool. But on story time today, Where's my soccer team? we want you, your soccer team, thanks for tuning in. Go Keelix. Um, we want you to be cadet, cadets in your cadet frame of mind. Charlie's going to tell us some things about some very important people who helped us be successful in getting into space. Remember, Cadets, we have on our space shoes. While you get ready, while Charlie gets ready, maybe you could put on your pretend space, space shoes. Boots. You space boots. Oh. So you can walk float around. and float in space. Okay, you ready, Cha-Cha? Yeah. Let's, sh let's show them. This is going to be fun for us because this is based on something else we really love in addition to space. Legos. 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 Okay. Yes. Ready? This is a book called, are you going to tell them? Oh, this is a book called Women of NASA Space Heroes. Packed with facts you need to read. Find out how they explored space. Show them In the next episode. Oh. Uh, okay. I mean, I, you know I get excited. Okay, I'm the picture helper while Charlie reads you this informative information about space. Out of this world, people who work at NASA are interested in space. They study space to learn more about it. They also find ways to explore space. The women of NASA. Let's meet four women who did great things at NASA. Margaret Hamilton, a computer scientist. Mm, I'm gonna, you know what? Actually, I'm really excited to show them. Oh, we have a visitor knocking on the door. Knock, 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 knock. Even in real life, we've got more friends live. That's the real Facebook live, when they come over live while you're doing your Facebook. I guess what I brought, Char, I actually brought, we did this Lego build, so I brought everybody. Our actual ladies in space, Lego shoes. Oh. Good. Carrie's got her space boots on, she said. All right, you go ahead and tell them, and I will pick the Lego that you talk about. This is Nancy. Ma this is Margaret. I for Margaret. forgot to have Margaret ready. Yes. Nancy Grace Roman. 
I'm I'm worried. It's an that astro. I'm, I'm gonna break these Legos. Nomico. <laughs> no. I don't want to waste space. May. Jemson is an astronaut. Sally Ride was an astronaut too. Yes. Looking at space. Nancy Grace Roman studies stars and planets. She is called an astronomer. I think. Mm -hmm. This is a telescope picture. Nancy helped to create the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble orbits Earth. It sends back pictures of faraway stars and planets. Whoa, that's a telescope. No, that's that's that Hubble. Is, that's the Hubble. That's the Hubble telescope made out of Legos. Uh, we're pretty excited that we have the Women of NASA Lego build. Yes. Handy. Clever computers. Margaret Hamilton is a computer scientist. Okay, here she goes. Now, these Legos actually belong to Charlie's grandma, so we have to be careful we don't break them. Books of, those books, these are books of code. Whoa, that they put into the side. Margaret wrote a computer code for a space class. Have you ever written a computer code? Have you written a computer code? I have. Well, how do you, they didn't, when I was growing up, they didn't teach us how to write computer code. How do you guys know how to do that? Well, there are many different types of code. I've learned JavaScript. Yeah. Super impressive. And a little bit of Python. But this, okay, good. Yes. Well, I love it. Yeah. The code told the spacecraft how to get to the moon. So everybody who works in outer space is not an astronaut, it sounds like, Charlie. No. Some people are science, good at science and good at math, but they might never actually go into space. Right? But they're so important. Science star Sally Ride was the first American woman to visit space. Sally also liked teaching children about science. Maybe one day they would become scientists too. I'm, getting, I'm trying to point to her. I can't yes. find her. Okay. That one. Amazing astronaut J Mae Jemsen trained as a doctor. She became a NASA astronaut as well. She was the first African American woman in space. Whoa. She also used to be a ballet dancer. Well, I know that. Why? Very multi purpose. Because what were you? I was a ballet dancer. Thank you for bringing that up. We'll, we'll have to have a ballet story time. Ha, ha. Okay, we've got props for this part, Char. Keep Ooh. going. Okay. Space travel endeavor is a space shuttle that can carry seven, not six, but seven NASA astronauts into space. This is a quote from... Mae Jemsen. I was a part of Endeavor's crew. My job was to do experiments. There are many different parts of Endeavor. There was this, the nose of the plane, or the shuttle. There was the cockpit, the cargo bay, the thrusters, and the tail fin. Those are just six of the many important parts of the shuttle. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that was great. Thank you for learning about space with us. We love to talk about space in this house yes. uh, because one, Charlie and her brother both love to do math. Yeah. But two, and science. and science. We found out a big surprise one time when we went to go see a very famous movie called Hidden Figures. We went to go see this movie called Hidden Figures. Cadets, have any of you seen this movie with your grown up? If you've seen this movie, you know 
that it is all about the important role that women played before women were able to be astronauts in space as some of the most smart scientists, Science. mathematicians, and computer code experts. Expert, but expert. while most people were so excited because they'd never Rose. even heard about Rose. hidden figures like Rose. this Barbie we have is of one of the famous hidden Kat. figures, Katherine Johnson. Kat. Most people Rose. didn't Rose. know about the hidden figures, but neither did we. But I'll tell you what we also didn't know. We didn't know. We did not know. That the owner of this uh -uh. third pair of sneakers. This sneaker. Charlie's grandma, Grandma Cynthia. As many of you know. Is also a NASA hidden figure. And we never knew that before until we saw the movie because she never told it to us. Yes. Isn't that amazing? So we love space around here. And that's why we have so many space Legos and so many space stories. But, but I think it's time because everybody loves to come to story time, not just for the stories, but for the music and for the jokes. Yeah. So I think, Charlie, it's time to sing our song, but oh, not before, guest. but not before. Oh, should we bring in a special guest for the joke? Oh, great. We have a special guest for our joke because uh, we've made very good friends with our next door neighbor, Rylan. Yeah. Oh. And uh, I know that we're all in a very close shelter in place, yeah. but luckily we're so lucky. Welcome to story time, right? <laughs> it's your first time. Luckily, our two families are sheltering in place together. So we have friends that we can invite into story time. So Rylan, we often tell jokes when we get into story time. So we let the friends take a minute to guess before we give the answer. So I'm going to say the joke. The friends. Oh, That's sorry. Like the cadets. cadets. We let the cadets. So I'm going to say the joke. Hey, Rylan, what's the easiest way to count 273 cows? I have no idea. I don't know. Stumps my brain. Cadets. What's the... Now think like a scientist. Think like someone who could get us into space. What's the easiest way to count 273 cows? Got it? A calculator. A calculator. Ooh. <laughs> Rylan, that's a, is that hilarious? First time on story time for this guy. Okay, so funny. They make sure they can see you. All right. Rylan, if you want to join us for our song, I don't know if you know it, but one of the rules we have on Storytime Live is that everybody can sing. Wow, so we, we never say that we're a bad singer, whether we know the song or we know the melody or we don't. We chose a good song, a little hip, little, a little hip song for Storytime Live today. And it's called, it's in our theme, and it's called Fly Me to the Moon. Ready? You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, start us out. Okay, am I starting? Who's starting? I will. Okay. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring looks like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. Which way are we doing? <laughs> In other words, I love you. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you.
Rylan, you are good. He's holding that melody. I think I dropped. Soon, I might change starring roles with Sheesh. Like, how many people do I Okay, it's time for uh, our next story. Our next story is about a fun little kitty cat. Okay, let me see, Rye. We're so squeezing this tight little space. Our next story is about a fun little kitty cat. We're just going to look over. Kitty cat. Uh, 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 where? Okay. Yeah, you guys should be getting more space. Okay. There it is. If we just like tilt these okay. to the side, I'm finding a way. Okay. Oh. I don't think you guys understand how to turn Hold on, that. story timers. Yes. I think I forgot the book. Technically. Tell them. Okay, I've got this. Okay, tell them. I'm a great time tiller. Let's do a Q&A with Rylan. Come on. Buddy. Okay. What's your name? Ryan. How old are you? Ten. What grade are you in? Four. What school do you go to? Islands. Um. Great Q&A. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What's your favorite animal? What is your favorite color? You don't know? Brown. Yeah. Blue. Oh, blue. I think it's so brown. It's like, wait a second. Okay. All right, cadets. Thank you so much. Everybody who hung in there with us, thank you for our, bearing with our technical difficulties. But if you know anything about Skippy John Jones or little Skippito, it's worth the wait. Okay. So, Rylan's new at this. We are going to let him learn about how we do picture, show, and tell while I start the story. So, some of you may have some Skippy John Jones books in your collection. There are a lot of fun ones. This is by Judy Schna I think. What? Schnatcher? Schnatchner? Schnachner? Oh, I was rotating it. What? Okay. Be good. Judy Schnachner. All right, and it's called. All right, let's get let's let's get it. Why does it keep touching? Okay, let's leave it there. No, how does it turn back? Okay, all right, let's go. Okay, let's go, Chuck. I'm ready. Oh wait, you can start. Okay. I was just. All right. Skippy John Jones lost in spice. For those of you who just joined us for Storytime Live, I'm. Carla, this is Charlie, and we've got our guest star, Rylan, who's actually the owner of this Skippy John Jones book. Yeah. So, thank you for joining us. Skippy John Jones was nuts about Mars. Okay. What? Skippy John Jones was nuts about Mars. Oh, You've yeah. got the pictures right there. This is Skippy John Jones. He's a Siamese cat. And he loves to be silly. Uh-huh. He has very big ears. The biggest thing about him, because he has big ears, is that sometimes he likes to believe he's not just a cat. Yeah. Maybe it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a Skippy John Jones. So let's get into our story. Be Skippy John Jones was nuts about Mars because it was the red planet. I love red, that's what I said. And I musty put some rusty in my big boy bed. So off he went to the kitchen where mama and the girls were starting supper. We're making tuna poodle casserole, uh, crooned his sister Jilly Boo Jones. You wanna let them see those, that, that fam? The fam. Tuna noodle, we're making tuna poodle casserole, crooned his sister Jilly Boo Jones. Tuna noodle casserole, corrected Mama. A poodle is a dog and we don't eat dogs. Skippy John thinks he's a dog, said Jezebel. Yeah, agreed Juju B. He thinks he's a chi wow wow because his ears are too big for his head, added Jezebel. That's enough, scolded Mama Pinkie Pie's ears are just fine. But Pinkie Pie was oblivious to their chatter that's Skippy John. Mama calls him Pinkie Pie. Mm. May I please borrow your bottles of red spice, Mama? He asked politely. Yes, 
you may, replied Mama, pleased with her boy's manners, but you better not be thinking of doing any sprinkling. Nuh-uh, said Skippy, blinking, or tasting, or pasting, or wasting, if you know what's good for you, she added. Well, Skippy John Jones always knew what was good for him. And it was bouncing and pouncing. Bouncing. And rocketing. And rocketing. In the rest, rusty red dust. Charlie, show them how he put all of his mom's spice powder into his kitty cat bed. <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I'm in a big race to be the first dog to bounce into space. Then a bit of spice tickled his nose, and ah, chewy kitty boy sneezed. Holy hot tamales, exclaimed Skippy John as he shot past his reflection. He thinks... He's a little dog, a little red dog that you see in that picture. What's up with that doggy in the mirror? Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, You are not a Siamese cat, dude. You are a wicked red chihuahua. Wow. And quicker than you can say, jumping jacks on Jupiter, the kitty boy found his mask and cape, a mirror, a marble, and his sock monkey. And he stuffed those and a few other things into his space suit while he sang in a muy, muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. Now I need you guys to clap, clap when I get to the clap, clap parts, okay? Okay, okay you guys are the band, okay? Make sure your, your claps get on screen so that our cadets can know when to clap, okay? My name is Skippito Frisquito, clap, clap. And I think there's um, there are Martian perritos, clap, clap. Some say the green creatures share all my features. I hope it's not just Fabelitos. Back in the kitchen, the girls were being a big help to Mama Junebug Jones. I love noodles, declared Jilly Boo. No, pull that on the top and the bottom. Hold it on the top and the bottom. I love noodles, declared Jilly Boo. Noodles are silly, said Jezebel. That's because they're nude, said Juju B. Ha! They're ha. not nude, said Jilly Boo, giggling. They're just naked. And she tossed up one to the ceiling where it stuck. Cadets, <laughs> take your wet noodle. Throw it up. Throw it up to the ceiling and, and the well. see if it's stuck. And then hit the wall because that's the most important. Oh, hit the wall? Hit the wall. Oh, show us how. And you just take it and then you move it down and then you grab your other shoulder. Let me show it. You throw it hit up the wall. and then you hit it. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Hit the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shake it. Learn. Hit the wall. Okay. All right. Throw your noodle up one more time. Hit the wall. Yes. Back to the store. Shake it. Okay. Shake it. Okay. Is that a TikTok or what is that? No, that's just a thing. I love it. Okay. But Skippy John Jones wasn't stuck at all. He was suited up and ready for liftoff. The astronautito took one small step into his closet for... Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas. Thank you. Good job, well, guest star Ryland. Now, we don't always have dog. every picture, but we have some One of the pictures. Sometimes we just act it out cool. on the screen. Dog calm. Okay, make sure they can see you on the Instas. Yes. Okay. And Stop. one giant leap into the universe for Los Chimichangos. Okay, so. Oh. Remember, Skippy John Jones thought he was an astronaut. He's lifting off into space. I just want to show you that. I don't know. Okay. And then 
he has this group of friends. If this is your first time reading a Skippy John Jones book, then you don't know all about all the little imaginary puppy friends he has in his mind, and he calls them the chimichangos, and we're gonna meet them now. And one giant leap into the universe whoa, whoa. for Los Chimichangos. He was well into his orbit when a comet covered in crazies cruised by. Who goes there? hollered Skipito. Martian, came the answer. Martian who? Martian in your closet. And get us some frijoles, dude, he said in a voice. Poquito Tito, oh Poquito Tito, exclaimed Skipito. Is that you, amigo? Poquito Tito is the leader of the Chimichango gang of little imaginary puppies. See, si, it is all of us, los Chimichangos, said Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. We are going to build a chili polvo pipeline from Mars to Earth, Papito. Not the chili powder pipeline, declared no. Skipito. Exactamente, howled the doggies. Por qué, asked Skipito. Because, amigo, began Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, the chili powder on Mars is muy caliente. Do you know what that means? If you say the chili powder is muy caliente, it's very spicy. Hot. And it will keep us very warm en el invierno. If the chili powder is going to keep us warm in, in El Invierno, what time of year do you think that is? Winter. They can't see you. Um, winter. Winter, but they can't hear you. you yes, got to be like, Winter. Winter. Now, now you're in it, buddy. Okay. The Cuckoo Comet and the Kitty Boy made it to Mars with a soft landing. Uncle Sol. Ooh, said Don Diego. That felt marvelous. Then he turned to glance at Skipito. No offense, Poco Coco, but why the suit de la nieve? asked Don Diego. So he's asking, like, why are you wearing your pajamas, dude? It, it, oh, he's asking, sorry, where, why are you wearing your winter coat? Sorry. Your snowsuit. Your snowsuit. El, the suit de la nieve. Snowsuit. It's not a snowsuit, declared Skipito. It's a space suit. Dude, you don't need a space suit up here, said Poquito Tito. You need a spice suit. <laughs> Mars is covered in the chili powder, Chico. This made the perros go loco in the rojo singing Chili roo, chili ri, chili rito. <laughs> it's a wag of the tail for Skipito. For there's nothing as nice as a roll in hot spice in the light of the Martian Moonitos. It's so musical. It's like a musical theater. But a roll in the rojo should have been a no-no because quicker than you can say, monkeys making meatballs. Monkeys making meatballs. How fast can you say that? Monkeys making meatballs. Monkeys making meatballs. Monkeys making meatballs. Monkey making meatballs. Monkey making meatballs. Skipito rolled and rolled and rolled in the opposite direction from his pipeline puchitos. Whoo! Said Skipito panting. You boys are right. The spicito is hot. The astronautito was so calor under his collar that he just had to take off his space suit. Remember, we wore our space shoes today. We're asking everybody to pretend you're in your space boots and your space suits for our story today. Muchachos, he called out. There was no answer. Uh-oh, Skipito said to himself, I'm lost in space. Oh no, I did it wrong. He's lost in spice. I'm lost in spice. 
But the astronaut Ito did not panic. He grabbed his binoculars and climbed up onto a roca. And when he saw it, holy green gorillas gulped Skipito. It's a Martianito. <gasps> the Puchito pounced just a whisker away from the unearthly creature. Oh. Dude, dude. You want to be my echo? Dude, dude. Your ears are too big for your head. Your ears are too big for your heart. Your head is too big for your body. Your head is too big for your body. You are not a Martian. You are not a Martian. Look at this crazy guy he's meeting. Yeah, right. Show him. <gasps> Woo! No, I am not a Martian dude, said Skipito. I am a Chihuahua just like you. Chihuahua. <gasps> Except he's a cat. I know. He thinks or he's a Chihuahua. He sometimes as I read these stories, I think Skippy John Jones is a Chihuahua, but he is a Siamese cat. To yeah. prove his point, Skipito ran back to his spacesuit and pulled out a little rojo mirror he had packed. Look, said Skipito, holding it up so both of their faces showed. We are twins. Look, they're twins. Except for not. Well, except for one, one, what's one big thing where they're different? They can't hear you. The eye. The eye. And? The eye and, and, what else? Wait, let's, let's let the cadets guess. There's something different about these two uh, chihuahuas. One is the eyes. And what is the other thing that's different? Yeah. The color. The color. But we're going to hear more about that. Because apparently the Martian thinks they are twins. The Martian was so mesmerized that he could not take un ojo off of himself. Skipito was so excited that he could not stop hopping and flapping his arms. And then all of a sudden he remembered that he was lost. Hey, come on, un o, uno o, uno, sorry, uno ojo. He's decided he's going to call the Martian uno ojo which means one uh, eye, uno ojo, uh, called the kitty boy. We've got to find me some amigos, but uno ojo said nada. He simply stared at his image in the mirror. Okie dokie ito, said Skipito, I'll go, but you have to keep your eye on my stuff, sure. my sock monkey, especially my sock monkey. And he took off faster than a tiddly wink in a tornado. So Skipito is asking un ojo to please keep an eye on all of Skipito's valuable stuff. Skiddly wink. Skiddly wink. He didn't have to go far. In less time than it takes to tickle a termite, Skipito found his cupuritos cooped up inside a crater. Dudes! said, shouted Skipito. Dude, whispered Don Diego. You are just in tiempo, just on time. In time for what, said Skipito. Hombres de la Marte, said Poquito Tito, with a shiverito. Not the men from Mars, declared Skipito. Look at how scared everybody is oh, no. in this crater. I'm scared too. I'm one of them. Okay. Rylan, are you scared? Yes. Terrified. Okay. It's very creepy. <laughs> Their mere mention of Martians made muchacho, the muchachos go mad. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Verde Martians everywhere. Slurping, sloppy, ice cream cones speeding into the spicy zone. Most mossy Martians on the move, what do they think they have to prove? We did not come here for a fight, 
We want to build. We will not bite. Then Skipito okay. felt the fur stand up on the back of his neck. Oh, no. Because the critter crater, the critter's crater was about to have cinco crazy creatures for company. How many creatures is cinco creatures? It's five. Five creatures. Before Skipito could think of what to do, the verde visitors, the green visitors, piled out of their space buggy, bearing all of Skipito's stuff. Two were green and mossy. Two. While the third was green and bossy. Oh no. The fourth was green and funky. Oh, funk, funk. The fifth was green and. Oh no. Uh, monkey! Yelled Skipito. That's my sock, monkey! Ditto, declared Skipito in one Skipito's one-eyed Martian twin emerging from the green group before him without saying another palabra Skipito picked up his monkey's paw and pulled first Skipito yanked this way this way it's a tug o monkeyto cheered the chimichangos on the count of three the papitos planned to pull tambien they were also going to pull but as the doggies shouted, uno, Martians shouted, ojo. And uh-oh, uno, ojo, let a go-go, sending the kitty boy flying. <laughs> Skipito and his sock monkey hurtled head first back to earth out through his closet door. Oh no. So much goes on in that closet. Kaboom, he hollered, breaking the sound barrier and maybe his head. Skippy John Jones, exclaimed Mama, rushing into his room. What on earth are you doing? The kitty boy stood up and shook off a cloud of red spice. Oh, I didn't do anything on earth, Mama. Because she said, what on earth are you doing? Right? Get that? Cadets. He, uh, she said, what on earth are you doing? And he said, I didn't do anything on earth, Mama. I was on Mars. Yeah. What on Mars are you doing? If she would have only known. I did everything on Mars. Oh, that's terrific, Major Tom, said Mama. And she straightened Kitty Boy's ears. You must be starving. Aww. Then, later that night, Kitty Boy looked up at the starry sky. Mars, he muttered, beginning to bounce. Okay, I'm going to show you this picture. Mars, Mars, Mars. I'm Skippy John Jones and I like my red jammies because they're made from wool of green Martian lammies. Stop bouncing, Pinkie Pie, scolded Mama. I'm not pink, I'm red, said Skippy John Jones. It's over, Red Rover, said Mama. Just go to sleep. Duermo. And that's, Duermo, and that's exactly Duermo. what he did. Okay, thank you, cadets, for coming to hear stories in space. Um, we are going to say goodbye to you for story time today, but before we do, we always like to close it out with one final joke for our cadets. I've got one in mind that's in our space theme. Hey, Rylan, Charlie, and cadets, what do you call five security guards who are protecting the Samsung telephones? Hmm. If you didn't know, Samsung is a brand of phone that I referred to as Samsung on Android. 
that would be difficult. Uh, if you didn't know that Samsung is one of the brands of phones, just like Apple iPhones and some other kinds of phones. But since we've Most told totally our black cadets black. that, do you have a guess? What do you call the security guards, mm. the five security guards protecting the Samsung telephones? And if you didn't watch the movie. Well. We know that so many of our cadets love these movies. We call them Guardians of the Galaxies. Oh, somebody guessed it before you said oh, it. Oh, who guessed it? Oh, good job. Guardians. The Guardians. Nice job, Dale. Thank you for, okay. Uh, oh, I, okay, it. I'm just going to hold these friends right here. Okay. Thank you for joining Storytime Live. We will be back tomorrow at 3.30. We hope to solve all of our technical problems, but we thank you for coming to enjoy the jokes the music, the neighbors, come on, say hi, yeah, hi, the neighbors. neighbors, and the stories. And the jokes. Did you say that? And the neighbors. I'm Charlie. Oh, I did this every time. I'm Carla. This is Charlie. I'm Charlie. This is our special guest star, Rylan. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Central Time on Storytime Live. Goodbye. My name is Jimmy Chunger. I like the Puerto Rico. Padoop, padoop, padoop.